Good morning. It is approximately 6.42 in the morning. I don't know if anybody's keeping updated with me, but today we're going back to Kinzua Bridge on the other side of the nature or the, the center, the nature center or information center, or whatever you want to call it. There is a trail that leads down and that's what I'm going to do today. And you guessed it, uh, Prilin is coming back with me. So she's going to be my chauffeur for the day. Um, it's going to be a good day. The weather is supposed to be out about 78, 0% chance of precipitation, uh, nothing but sunshine. So it's going to be a warm one. So for the first time on a hike, I'm wearing shorts and a sleeveless shirt. Uh, I will cover myself in permethrin just to keep the bugs away. You guys know how I feel about bugs. I'm not going to go into that. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to sit back, enjoy this coffee. I'm going to meet her in Mansfield about 8 o'clock, which is in a little over an hour from now. So, cheers, and happy Friday, by the way. <laughs> you guys remember this jack wagon? Yeah, so we're going to go get okay, some breakfast. Okay. Turn right. Yeah, she doesn't know how to get to Wellsboro, and yet she's slightly from wow. this area. Was that my bag? Yeah. Fucking A. All right, now that we're all situated, you guys remember this jack wagon? You guys remember Pri from the first time? So she doesn't even know how to get around pretty much the area she's from. I'm not from here. Fucking close. Close enough. Close enough. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go get some breakfast because it's always good to go on a hike on a full belly. Uh, last time we stopped and got breakfast, but we're stopping at a completely different place this time because we're taking a different route that is more of a straight. Yeah, that's not mountain way. Yeah, last time she took us up over the mountains and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. So let's go get some food. Because I am hungry. My only problem is, is I hope as soon as that food hits my belly, that I don't get the urge to poop. Did you poop this morning? No. You're gonna have to poop too. No, I'm not. The pooping pair. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dudes. We are here. We're going to the Well Wellsboro Diner for breakfast. Because hey. Who doesn't like a good diner food? And there she is, wearing her flip-flops again. If you guys watched the last video, she wore flip-flops. No hiking, though. Pre, why are you wearing flip-flops? Because I don't like wearing shoes. And I don't want to wear my hiking boots yet. So you did bring boots? Yes, like last time. Okay. What are these plants? I going to say, they got plants and veggies and fruits. Look at that. 350 for a cantaloupe, hell yeah. A diner. Omelet, home fries, wheat toast. Then Prelin gets nothing but carbs. <laughs> and bacon. That'll clog her arteries. I can feel it already. <laughs> <laughs> Wellsboro Diner. Good shit. Real good shit. Check out these flowers, though. All right, so after GPSing everything, it says it's gonna be an hour and 43, hour and 44 minutes travel time there. This time, we got a quicker route than what we had last time, so it will be easier to actually get there. Uh, right now, I'm just waiting on Prelin. She had to go pee. There she is. Did you just give me the bird? No, I'm like... There are kids watching.
So we are about, oh my God, my hand is covering the thing, uh, covering Pri's face. You don't need to see her face anyway. Yeah. Uh, we are about probably 15 minutes away, 20 minutes away, something like that from our destination. But we are yet sitting again in construction. Uh, it's been a pleasant drive so far, although I've gone through the windshield collectively about Shut 30 up. times because Pre likes to slam on her brakes and Nobody not drive and not drive at a off. fucking safe distance. Yes, I do. No, you, dude, you're right on people's ass. It's the four second rule. Yeah, and I can hit my brakes in four seconds. <laughs> <laughs> See? There's no ice, there's no snow, so I'm not going to slide. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Your argument is valid. <laughs> I just want to go to the park. God, we made it after a shorter car ride we're gonna go in and empty our bladders and then we are gonna change well not change she's gonna put on her boots I'm gonna grab my bag and my tripod and we are gonna hit the trail uh, but first I need to find a map of this trail so let's do it all right gang so here's what we're gonna take we are currently right here at the nature center we're gonna have to drive back down here pull into the overflow parking. We are gonna walk the General Cane Trail. It's 1.6 miles, so it'll be a nice little short hike, quick hike, not a super long video today. I'm sure some of you guys will enjoy that, but I hope this is gonna be awesome. Um, Pri says she's pretty sure that it's a pretty wooded area, so maybe we'll get to see some deer or squirrel or some kind of wildlife. Hey, how's them boots coming? Good. Good. Do you need to wear a helmet? I don't know, whatever, what way do you want to go? What's this one? I don't know. What's the little sign say here? To prevent tick bites. Oh yeah, I got permethrin. Let's spray down before we go too far. All right, so that one's a different trail. We want to go back to this one. Pri's going to lead the way as a scout leader. We just sprayed ourselves down with permethrin, so we're not going to get bitten up by ticks or skeeters. So I hope you guys just enjoy the ride today. It's a nice, beautifully mowed path. I've never been here, so we're just going to go. I'm not going to talk too much because it's a short trail. So, and you guys seem to enjoy the last one with the music dubbed over, so... I'm happy about that. Hey, I think there's a picnic area over here. Let's check this out. Maybe kind of like a rest area type thing. Probably. Or like somewhere 
place where you can just chill. Right. There's spots there over here. Is it really? Yeah, see that? I think there might be one over here too. Somebody's been burning there, obviously. Ooh, there's wood over there's here. There's no burn pits, but, but there's some over there, burn pits. Man, I wish I had a truck, I'd steal this wood. <laughs> Maybe they're like little campsites. I didn't know you could camp up here. That's cool. I think you can go up here. I would come camping up here. Right. I thought you didn't like mushrooms. No, it could be like a little fairy garden. Oh my good God. You like this your... is a doorway. You have an imagination. And they live in the tree trunk. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if you can camp out here, but oh. I do see the fire pits there. Yeah, there's like three of them. I'm wondering if they're getting them set for the season or something. Maybe, maybe you can camp like in the summer. There's another flat area out through there. Yeah, I wonder if it is a camping area. Oh, there's a ton of them. Yeah, that's what I mean. There's like four here. All right, let's hop back on that trail. I was just curious. So Pri almost tripped over a rock <laughs> and she goes, you're going to have to carry my fat ass. Well, I hate to tell you this, but you're just going to have to crawl or die out here because oh, I'm already carrying a pack that's way too heavy and uh, you're, you're just on your own. Oh, uh, did you know this well, is... You almost this took me out with a fucking stick. Hey, maybe that's my purpose asking you, you to come out here. This is no joke. In my Lowe's policy, if there was an ever active shooter that come into the store, we are not allowed. We are not allowed to stop and help out a fellow co-worker and, or anybody on the, on, the, on the floor or whatever. Nope. Not even if you can drag them. Fuck that. Fuck that. If I can drag somebody by their arms, I'll drag them by the arms. I'm not leaving and no man yeah. behind. I'm out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Pre would be the one to be like, oh, sorry, bro, you're wounded. Sorry about your luck. Pre, I'll think about you when I'm outside. <laughs> I'll come to your fucking funeral. <laughs> just brought this to my attention and get this to focus in here look at that tree look at all that I've never seen a tree like that to be honest with you oh, what is? a thorn tree <laughs> <laughs> or a big <laughs> or a big ass pricker bush either or
muddy in spots here, but we'll walk around here. What'd you find? That wind is really whipping up here, dudes. Like it wasn't hardly blowing on our way up through here, but all of a sudden we get out here, which is okay because it keeps uh, Miss Perlin here cool because oh, her, yeah, she's always hot. Her blood temperature is like 101.9,000. Yeah. Uh, 
I think we're on your little grassy knoll you were talking so. about. So the women say men have selective hearing. <laughs> Apparently, look at that beautiful sky today, sounds like selective lettuce to her. <laughs> this is why I bring her along, folks. Free entertainment, plus a free ride up here. I mean, shit. No, I'll probably be nice and put gas in her car on the way back just for, of course, I did buy breakfast this morning. You did. I did. I did. You were nice. I for once, right? Yeah. <laughs> You're a jack any other time. Hey, these people don't need to know that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we got an anthill. Yeah. Little anthills. Like Check it out. Pre was gonna step on them. Why not? Don't be a dick. <laughs> Go off trail. No, I don't think this is a trail. Oh, I don't know. It might be. It's not a very manicured one. Let's just say that, yeah. if it is. Huh. Be a great place to go get lost. Just a little. <laughs> just a little. Cane Trail, a little bit of history on the place. We are here. Give you a second to read that, or you can pause the video. All right, my dudes, short little trail. Chug it, put it down. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha.